Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about type 1 eccentric welded connections. So the next, so so far we have discussed about the welded connection, now it is eccentric welded connection, clear? So in the same case in the, so same case we have done in the bolted connection also. In the bolted connection first we have discussed concentric connections. So later we have started and we have discussed eccentric bolted connection. In the same way here also eccentric welded connections. So how many types of uh, eccentric connections are there? In bolted connection tell me. In bolted connection how many types you have discussed? Type 1 and type 2. Two types. What are those? In plane eccentricity and out of plane eccentricity. Yes or no? Here also the same. In plane eccentric connection, welded connection and out of plane eccentric welded connection. So whatever the concepts we have discussed in bolt the same concept here also remains okay the same concept here also the only difference is bolts whenever we are going to consider cross section of bolt it look like a points but coming to the weld that is not the case so here weld look like a cross section if you analyze the weld it look like a cross section but for bolt it looks like a point yes or no that is only the difference so based on that there we have calculated the forces coming on to the bolt because of the applied load here we are going to calculate stresses coming on to the weld because of applied load. That's it. That is only the difference. So once I will repeat the difference. So everything is same. Only the difference is in welded eccentric welded connections we are going to calculate stress. In eccentric bolted connection we are going to calculate force. That's it. And in comparison with the importance. So if we compare if we compare eccentric welded connection and eccentric bolted connection in the important. So in the in the point of so from the exam point of view. In the weightage are important. So welded eccentric connections are less important in comparison with the eccentric bolted connections. So eccentric bolted connections only more important, more and more important in comparison with eccentric welded connections. So here coming to the eccentric welded connection, it is very lengthy. Okay, but as it is I mentioned in the syllabus, we are going to discuss it. But whenever you are revising it, just go through it. That's it. No need of going into the details. So just you remember the procedure. How the eccentric welded connections are going to be designed but no need of going into the details of it but of course we are going to discuss it in detail but you don't revise it more and more but revise more and more the eccentric bolted connections okay you revise more and more eccentric bolted connections not eccentric welded connections but you just you listen and revise once no need to repeat it clear now as i said same type one what is the type one in plane eccentricity so we know what is meant by in plane eccentricity if both load and weld lies in the same plane then it is known as in plane eccentricity so if we see the diagram So this bracket is connected to the flange of a column by using a weld. Obviously we are going to use pilot weld. Clear. So here where the load. Now here we don't eccentricity directly. So what is eccentricity? It is a distance between CG of the connection and the load. Agree or not? So now where the CG lies? So if you idealize this welded section, welded cross section, it is like a somewhat like a channel. Okay, it is somewhat like a C channel section. So I am going to analyze the cross section or I am going to show you the cross section here. So this is a cross section. So if you see the dimensions here, this is the throat thickness and this is the length L3, this is the length L2 and this is the length L1. So here, here also same L3, L1. Of course, in the diagram L3, L1 are same. 
L2. So where the CG lies for the channel, here the CG lies. Here where the CG lies. So now what is the eccentricity? So from CG to the CG to the load. So this is the eccentricity. Clear. So now we know that this weld group is subjected to concentric load P or direct load P and then twisting moment PE. Yes or no? So because of the direct load P, it is subjected to direct shear and because of the twisting moment PE, it is subjected to the twisting shear. So calculate the forces. So this is xx and this is yy of a cross section. Okay. Now, what is the direct shear because of the concentric load P, direct shear stress? Q1. So, Q1 is equal to the load divided by cross section of this pilot weld. So, the load is P. And what is the cross section? Tell me L1 plus L2 plus L3 into TT. Yes yeah, sir, no, that is the cross section. So L1 plus L2 plus L3 into T, that is the cross section. So this is Q1. In this way, you can find the Q1. Now, twisting shear. Now, twisting shear stress, Q2. So how to calculate the twisting shear stress? For calculation of twisting shear stress, use formula in twisting. Okay, a pure torsion that is a T by IP is equal to tau by R. There the tau V is nothing but Q2. So the formula here is T by IP into R. So what is T here? T is the twisting moment. How much the twisting moment? P into E. That eccentricity. And R by IP. So how to calculate this IP? IP is a polar moment of inertia. So polar moment of inertia we can find by using perpendicular uh, Theorem. Okay, perpendicular theorem. What is that perpendicular theorem of moment of inertia? I polar moment of inertia. IP is equal to perpendicular axis theorem. What is that perpendicular axis theorem? IXX plus IYY. It means first we have to calculate IXX and IYY of this cross section and then we have to add. So the calculation of IXX and IYY is a very lengthy. That is why I said it is a very lengthy. So mostly the question will not come from this concept. But you should know. Okay, you should know how to do it. Okay, how the design is going to carry out. So in this way, we are going to calculate Q2. Now what is R? So R is nothing but the maximum radial distance from the CG. So obviously the CG, the maximum radial distance is this. So this is a point A. So RA is a maximum radial distance. So how to find that RA? So after finding the CG, so we know this L2. So this is L2 by 2. And this is, if we consider this, if we calculate CG from this, so this L3 minus CG, we are going to get this distance. In this way, we can calculate R. So that is the mathematics. And now tell me the directions of Q1 and Q2. That is important thing. So we have to consider the point which is far away from the CG. Radially away from the, radially far away from the CG. Obviously, point A is a far away. So if you consider any point on this cross section, point A is only the far, far from, far from the CG, radially far from the CG. So now what is the direction of Q1? We know that Q1 always acts in vertically downward and Q2 acts perpendicular to the radius. Now this is theta. So I can how to calculate theta. If that is theta, then this is theta or not? So we can calculate. So if you know the CG and the L1, L2, L3, we can calculate theta and R1. So in this way, Q2 can be calculated after calculating Q2 and Q1. Can we calculate resultant or not? Yes, we can calculate resultant. Now, resultant shear stress. So, we know that apply the uh, <coughs> parallelogram law. So, parallelogram law QR is equal to resultant shear stress under root Q1 square plus Q2 square plus 2 Q1. Q2 cos theta. So everything is known to us. Q1, Q2 is known to us and cos theta is known to us. So this is a QR. So now for the safe design.
So from design point of view, this QR is because of external apply load. So this QR should be less than or equal to permissible shear stress. How much it is? F u by root 3 into gamma m w. So that is the design. So this is a permissible shear stress. So F u by root 3. So this ultimate and ultimate and L stress by root 3 and gamma m w depend upon workshop weld or field weld. If it is workshop weld, we have to use 1.25. If it is field weld, it is 1.5. So based on that, the calculated resultant shear stress should be less than or equal to this Fu by root 3 into gamma Mw. So this is in plane eccentricity. This is the procedure to take it. So take the concepts one step by step. So this is the first, this is second, and this is third. And this is four. So first you draw the diagram, this diagram and that diagram. And after that, step one, step two, step three, and step four. So this is in plane eccentric welder connections. 